Yeah. 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 What's up, man? How are you? Good to see you. Nice to meet you, Shane. Daniel. Daniel? Nice yeah. to meet you. Good. Good. Really good. How's your flight? Not bad. Kind of long. But... <laughs> no? Wasn't that bad? Wasn't that bad at all? It's good in here, right? Yeah. Under the light. It's wild, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think we put about three coats of wax on it. I can tell. Did you? We pop polish on baby up. First thing we pulled in. Oh, cool. Snuck up on these. All right, here we go. This is episode one of the Raised on Blacktop experience. You're now tuned into the biggest name in Blacktop, Raised on Blacktop. I'm here with Will Co Conklin. Conklin of Vex Broom, and we today we just take, took delivery of our brand new X Broom. This has been a long time in the making. So today we're going to give you a little background on how we got, met Will and how this came to be. Very happy. Very proud of you guys. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, we got my dad here, the Patron, the Jefe. You know hi. him. We got Daniel Clemens here. Hey, hi, Dan. Hey. <laughs> we got Josh and Jack. You guys are all familiar with them. The Stanley boys. The Stanley the boys. Here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what I wanted to do is get on here and talk about um, how this got came to be. Um, I think it was 2018 long, or 19, long right? Long time in the works here. 2018? So 2018, 18. we went down to Nashville, Tennessee for the Pavement Expo. Pavement Expo. But the X Broom stood out. But the X Broom stood out. Um, funny story, the X Broom, I don't think you had a truck there, right? No, we didn't have a truck there. So you didn't have a truck it there. It was last minute. So um, long story short, the way we got familiar with X Broom is funny. We've talked about this before. We used to watch these guys' stories on Instagram. Um, Paul Guerrero, which is like, he's a trucker yeah. out in Cali, yep. right? Yep. And he works for a trucking company, but they truck for pavement recycles. Yeah, yeah, for PRS out there in California. Right, and they do a lot of milling work out there. Tons, yeah, right? definitely biggest company. Yeah, because, you know, we always used to hear there's not a lot of blacktop in California. That's a lie. These guys mill nonstop all day, busy roads, and we're like, how the hell are they picking up their millings? And every clip we saw, they got these internationals following these yeah. mills. Freight two of them. Freight It'd be two milling machines and, and one yeah. one X-Broom chasing them. Yep. Right. So Correct. we were like, we got to find out what these are. We found out they are X-Brooms. Um, we saw that they were supposed to be at the show, and we're walking around. I think it was the last day, and we stumbled upon Will, right? Yeah. Stand. How'd that go? <laughs> Basically standing there. I mean, nothing, nothing to stand in front of. I was right. actually there with a good buddy of mine, uh, Wells, that owns a, a company. He builds little parking lot sweepers. So, uh, kind of last minute for me. You know, I couldn't turn down the invite to Nashville, right? Yeah. And uh, to go there with a buddy of mine, I figured, yeah, what the heck, you know, I'll bring some, bring some banners or whatever, and, and hang out in his booth and right. see what uh, what I can make of it. I guess. Right. right. So. so we were talking to Will. We were, we probably talked to him for an hour, me and Jack, right? Yeah. And we're 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 asking about this broom and like. 30 minutes through the conversation, Will just casually drops that he invented this broom and, and uh, he's the owner of the company. We were like, what the fuck? Like, how old you, Will? Uh, how old was I then? Yeah. Oh, man, 34? No, 32. Yeah. 32 years old. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Right. So obviously after that, we were really taken back by it. So, yep. um, yeah, then we knew we, had, we knew we had to get into one of these brooms. Um, it was a long time coming. We finally pulled the trigger, right? Yep. Yeah, we got to bring we got to bring Pop into the conversation here for sure. Well, I actually did not attend 2018 right. e oh, uh, Expo, um, and I wasn't there. And the boys came home, and they I said, you know, what'd you see? How did it go? You know, and they tell me all about the show. They said we met this kid Will. He owns X Broom. He invented this machine. It's the shit. Blah blah blah. We got to get one. So I said, yeah, 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 of course we want to get one. You know, how much is this bloody thing? <laughs> and when they told me, when I found out how much they were, I was like, wow. So when... Step back. So, and, and so my story is um, the following year I met Will in 2019. It's only 2021, boys, so it hasn't been that long. It only couple, took me a couple, couple of years. Yeah. Um, and here it is sitting in the garage. And it is the most beautiful, awesome piece of machinery. Um, and this is going to be a real game changer for us. But anyhow, I met Will. Um, he had the broom there at the 19. I met him in Nashville. Um, we reconnected. 
the following year in gave Vegas. Gave you the shirt off my back. I gave you the shirt off True. my back. <laughs> True. Handed him the shirt off my back. Um, and we reconnect it in 20 out in Vegas. And yep. um, uh, we sp- spoke some more, looked over the broom again. And I could tell immediately, because I'm an equipment junkie, um, just talking to Will, his knowledge of the equipment, everything he put into it, every switch, every dial. Um, he went through it inch by inch and explained to me, you know, how everything worked and how um, what I was most impressed with, Will, was, you know, there were small details on every machine and everything that goes into building something or operating a piece of equipment. And he said, you know, I found out the gutter broom, if I put a, two pounds less pressure on it, it, it operates better. And Will knew this because he comes from a milling and sweeping background. So yep. not only did he um, design the machine, but he had his own life experience into it, which blew my hair back a little bit. Um, as far as American pavement, uh, how this thing ended up here today. So we've been milling roughly for how long, Jack? 10 years? 10 years. We've been milling for about 10 years. And we always, I knew from day one that the, you know, a pickup broom, a pickup broom truck would be the, the awesome thing. We tried everything, Will. Um, and I was trying to avoid, you know, a six figure purchase because um, we just started milling, right? Not in today's world. Well, we just started life. milling. So we, we started off, when we started milling, we used blowers and hand brooms yeah, and, yeah. and a pickup broom, Absolutely. and we swept behind it by hand. The first road we milled, we swept by hand, right? That road in uh, Weston, we, six brooms, side by side, we swept by hand. Down. Right, so we, blowers, we, when, we started yep. milling, when we started Calluses milling, for days. we were sweeping <laughs> by hand, we had blowers, I bought those blowers, the, the hand the ones hand with brooms. the rubber. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, we yeah. pushed oh, yeah. it into a pile, we picked it up with a skid steer. Yeah. Um, did everything yeah we went to uh, we immediately purchased a pickup room that went on our skid steer which felt like a Cadillac when we bought it right. POS they last a month the bottoms are worn out we were welding like crazy What a huge upgrade from the push rooms right? yes. it, it was a huge upgrade from the push rooms but you got to walk crawl you know you got to walk before you crawl uh, before you run right that's right so we're here today 10 years later for milling and three yep. years later from from meeting will and right now on this property in the backyard, I have one push broom that goes on the skid steer, three boxes. We have two boys brooms that are pretty much garbage. All they do is push millings left to right. right. Um, and we'll mill out a road in <laughs> half a day and we will spend the other half, the other half a day yeah. with three machines, five guys and blowers uh, picking up millings because so picking up millings sucks. It limits your volume then that you're capable of because you can't have it we have all. to stop milling at yeah. one o'clock correct right right sweep it because we have to sweep yeah. right and if we don't stop at one o'clock we leave, leave a half a road of millings on the road or we right. have to uh or we work sweep till, till eight o'clock yeah. at night. um right. and uh or you got a bunch of cars i think we're spending as much money picking up millings as we are uh milling Correct. I, I yeah. say, and that's an expensive it, the, the milling is the easy part the sweeping sucks sweeping yeah. sucks absolutely sweeping yeah. so last summer um, we ended up in a situation. We ended up in a situation. It was June or July, maybe. Yeah. Um, we were in broom hell. This is this summer, June. June. Yeah, this, yeah, this, June, this June. June. Yep. Last Pick June. Pick that microphone up. Both of bit. our both of our boxes were down. Needed welding. <laughs> um, I get you. Both of my Bryce brooms were apart. One of them still apart that we can't get parts for. That's been apart for six months. Um, and we were milling like crazy, and we didn't have yeah. a broom. Yeah. So I drove, I stopped to Jack, he was probably two o'clock and he said, oh, we're still sweeping, we're still sweeping. I got in my truck, I picked up the phone, I said, Will, I want a broom, do it. I wish I could have told you one's on its way right now. <laughs> well, you didn't do too bad. Um, and here we are, um, November, and I have the most fucking beautiful broom. I don't even want to use it actually, Will, yeah. I really want to just put it in my living room. Um, <laughs> ever built, wall down. Let's get ever built. And... Um, not only is it a beautiful machine, it's um, it's going to do the job that we need it to do, and uh, that's why um, we'll sit in here today because yep. he's the guy. Uh, one thing I will say, you know, when I told my wife I was buying this broom, she said, you know, where's this company? I said they're out of Arizona. She's like, where do we get parts? Right, I said, key. don't worry about it. And this is key. I said, I got the owner on speed dial. Yep. So when you have the owner on speed dial, I don't care if my parts are in Russia. Um, they're coming. They're coming. And if any problem with this thing, I can pick up the phone anytime, day or night, and call Will. And, I mean, what's more, what's better than that is to have the owner of the company um, 
sitting right next to you. Uh, yeah, uh, that's that's an awesome experience for us, Will, yeah. because absolutely. we've bought quality equipment in the past, and um, you know, after the shiny first day, um, we need service. You know, yeah, and well, we need people that I need to pick up the phone, and it could be something stupid, a small water be. nozzle, right? And yeah. you'll be able to talk me through it, walk me through it, or get me through it in absolutely. a New York minute. Um, and that's why we went with X Broom, um, because of uh, this gentleman sitting right here, and Dan too, right, Dan? That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so I think uh, part of the name of the game here is we got to get Dan to talk into a microphone on this podcast at some point in time. Why do you have to do that to him? But that's yeah. that's maybe later. You got to do me like that. <laughs> Dan, real quick, how'd you start at the company? What's your position? So I'm the, quick uh, rundown. The sales and marketing manager. Yep. Um, known Will for probably, what, 11, 12 years? No longer at this that, point. Well, yeah, somewhere in there. 12, See, I'm already learning yeah. something. I didn't yeah. know that. Yeah, yeah. So we, we've been friends for a while. Mm-hmm. Um, when we were hooligans, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. real rough kids. Yeah. No, we... Uh, I was working at a different job. Uh, we randomly reconnected, and he said he was looking for, for help in the sales department. So yep. Brought him I in. hopped on board. Interview process and everything, you know, random the ringer. So. It was real official. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that back. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But real quick, um, I want to talk about more about the machine, more about... Um, Did you ask Will how he started? Right, that's what I'm saying. No, don't. So Can I hand this off to Jack? Because he's the milling guy. Yeah, he's going to be I, running the broom. So yeah. he, he, he needs to talk, too, because um, he's after Will. Yeah. Well, I'm going to – I'll start. Let me put in a Go little ahead. input here. Yep. So I'm going to correct you on the inventor of x Okay. So I, I am not the inventor. There is a uh, – the founder. I'll call him the old man, but it's the founder. John Nesbitt is the guy that originally founded this company. He founded mm-hmm. Nescon, right? So Nescon originally was uh, like industrial control. So what he did was we would upfit uh, like uh, cement spreaders, you know, um, 10 wheeler super 16s, all that stuff with, you know, devices that they could weigh or, or measure, you know, like cement, right? And the cement spreader. Um, so you get the correct amount on the ground. So okay. that's how the company, that's how Nescon started, right? Was basically. A guy, again, a guy with a dream, right? That's how yeah. all, all companies start, just yeah. like yours, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, and then uh, really when it transitioned into building the brooms is when that's when I came on and came aboard and then helped tremendously, you know, with this And guy. they put you in charge right when you got there, right? Uh, there's, there's a whole Tell me that quick story. That one. Yeah, so uh, Dan's heard it about 6,000 times. He's going to hear it again. You can just walk away right now. <laughs> My, I got to go. tell the story? Um, I think you do a pretty good job. You mastered it by now. <laughs> Right, I got it all dialed in. Uh, I don't know, should we start at the beginning, I guess? Very yeah. Beginning? Yeah, so I moved, moved to Arizona when I was like 17, started working for the bars after a couple of years in Scottsdale. I got sick of the bar scene. I'm going to make it kind of quick. Yeah. Right? Yep. Otherwise, we'll get into the good meaty we stuff. We do things quick stuff. around here. That's right. Yep. Got out of the bar scene, started for um, Nesbitt Contracting, right? Uh, the only job they had open was a, was a janitor in the shop at that point in time, and I was like, you know, to get out of the bars, it was – I was ecstatic. Right. So came in, um, sweeping floors, cleaning toilets, you know, cleaning the coffee machine, emptying trash cans, everything that uh, the whole janitorial arts consumes. <laughs> so, but I was okay. the best at that. Right. You, know? you got to right. be the best at whatever that whatever it is that you're going to do. Right. So, mm-hmm. came in, started doing that. Did that for about I would say eight months to a year, um, and then an opportunity came up. It was actually that was like 2007, 2008 ish, something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, and so they were, you know, downsizing the, the company because of the, the recession um, yep. and small engine mechanic position opened up and moved into that one. And then after six months, then it was a gas, you know, gas trucks doing oil changes, stuff like that. Diesel mechanic, you know, I just kept on moving up through the company. And any time that I wanted, you know, to try something different, I would go in and, and talk to John Nesbitt himself and ask him, you know, if, if he would give me the opportunity. Right. So, um, yeah, did that for years, and then uh, you know I had the ambition that uh, that I wanted to go and start my own company. So I had actually left uh, Nesbit at that time. Mm-hmm. And I went and started uh, Will Built Co. Mm-hmm. And that was just a odds and ends thing. You know, did whatever I could make money doing. And then after about what's a it year called, Dad? Half, Anything for a buck? AFB. Anything, anything for a buck is right. Boom. That's right. That's where. That's actually Hashtag. where my my model comes from. The whatever it takes. Right. Right. Because right. that's. Uh, you know, when you're working for yourself, man, it is it is anything for a buck, right? Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter what it is. I will sweep a floor. I'll I'll empty a trash can. I'll work on your car or whatever. Right. So that's what I was doing. 
that was kind of actually to wrap Dan back into it again. Mm-hmm. That was kind of when I met you was the wheel built pill thing, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Building Didn't know that. Yeah, building motorcycles and cars and stuff back then. So um, anyway, to get back to the, the Nezcon thing. So then John had called me uh, prior to leaving Nesbit. So I had worked my way all the way up to uh, milling super. So I was running the milling division at that point in time. Um, ran recycle. So we recycled asphalt as yep. well. Um, pulled the recycler that we actually build those two through Nezcon, uh, pulled that with old CMI 1000 all over the country. So, um, came back, uh, after a couple of years of, of doing the wheel build co thing and went to California to train some of, uh, PRS's guys actually wow. for equipment. So that was, that was my introduction back to Nesbit, right? Um, kind of when I came back, you know, John had asked me to come back permanently and I said, yeah, no problem. Uh, I don't want to do milling. I don't want to do recycle. I don't want to be out of town all the time. You right. Know? So when he had asked what I wanted to do, I said, uh, let's do the brooms. You know, I think at that point in time they had built like two, three, which I was there for when they had built them and then came back, right? Um, and he just kind of chuckled at me and said, "Yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know, so that's what we started doing. I came back and went right into the fab shop and, and went right to work, started fab and stuff for him, and then took over the fab shop and then, you know, sort of taking over the broom mm-hmm. deal and everything else. When do you think the first broom was out? And was it called X Broom at first? Or Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was X Broom from the, the very conception of it. So uh, it was. What year was that, you think? Like 2009. Nice. Yeah. So, Will, is John still around? Yeah, yeah, John is still around. Yeah. And what does he think of your product today? He loves it, obviously. You know. I, I mean, he I, must look at the upgrades now in the past <laughs> 10 years, 15 years, however long it's been, yeah. and just. He must be amazed, right? John is a, uh, and I'm sure that he, he never thought of a backup camera, right? No, hell no, no. I'm sure that he did. I mean, John's a very intelligent guy, and you know, I don't want, I don't want to say this thinking that oh, he's going to listen to this, right? So <laughs> say the right thing. He's probably going to laugh when he hears that. Right? Yeah. But no, very, very. I hope that you guys get the opportunity to meet him at some point in time because he yeah. is, he is by far the most intelligent guy you will ever meet. I mean, very, very intelligent guy. Um, engineer by trade. Uh, went to school for it. Um, but he's not the engineer that just puts stuff down on paper that looks good on paper, right? Like, yep. you know, he yep. knows how to put something into place that's that's going to work and it's going to Because he comes well, from right? the business too, right? right. Yeah. 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 So and he was there. a milling contractor? Uh, yeah, so they were actually the biggest milling co- contractor in, in, like, the Southwest at one point in time. That so been. he was heavily invested in brooms because if anyone knew about picking up millings, right. he must have. Correct. Absolutely, yeah. At, uh, at one point in time, I think they had 15 or 20 mills. You know, a bunch of old CMIs working 2200s. So they started this for themselves, really? Correct, yeah. I so mean, it, it was really, a product for themselves. Yeah. The Kind of how the story goes is it was the lack of service and support from, you know, other manufacturers out there at the time, right? So that and just knowing that you can build a, a better product, right? So necessity is the mother of invention, right? Mm-hmm. So if there's a necessity for a better product, say you're doing, you know, twice the amount of square that everybody else is and, you know... Uh, the manufacturer's broom that you're running at the time is only built for half of what you're running. You know, you're, you're kind of in the so. Same Will your you first are. one was it engineered or was it just you just started pulling one apart and making it better and just adding to it and making it move faster and it I can yeah I can really remember uh, the very first one that we built was uh, was a forklift mast right like that we had bought a used forklift mast and rearranged the beams on it, cut it apart and flipped them all around. And, and it was, a, it the, 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 the tractor was a, f- a forklift. No, the tractor was a, was an actual tractor. So, you know, he drew a, a quite a bit of it in CAD first. Oh, he and, did. And he modeled did. it. Yeah, uh-huh. correct. And then, and then ordered, you know, s- smart guy ordered two chassis, a Freightliner and international, and then took a forklift mast and redesigned yeah. the forklift mast. You know, that's, that was like the basis of it. Right. And then, in CAD, obviously had it modeled up to where he thought that it would fit, and and you guys just started cutting away. Just started cutting away. Yep. Yeah, had a had a homemade plasma table that we used. I mean, crap, up until like five years ago, four or five years ago. You know, a, a home built plasma table in a little shop, a little one bay shop. I mean, the shop that we're sitting in here, yeah, is ten times the size of the shop that we first built. I mean, I built fifty brooms in that shop. Really? So let's fast forward to today. So your tin, um, your sheet metal, um, is that your steel? Is that manufactured by you? Oh, yeah. You guys actually do all your bending and cutting it in-house? 100%. 100%. Miracle. Yes. 
hundred percent. We got to get you down to the shop. I want to come to the shop. Yeah, it's snows, it's this snows winter. here, and it's nice yeah, there. Yeah, I agree. So, I agree. Yeah. You might yeah, not come home. You're not far from you Vegas, get, right? No, you get a plant no, down there. It's like four and a half hours. Cool. So you get a plant down there. Yeah, we could do that. Asphalt plant? Yeah. That'd be great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now we're talking. Mm-hmm. Get the plasma going. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. 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 But, yeah, but we, we build them all to answer your question. Yeah, so we get, you know, like the doors and panels, 14-gauge. It comes in as a, as a raw sheet. Right, you take a, take a sheet of metal. Absolutely. Right, yeah. and bend it to your liking. Yep. So yeah. f- hold on, finish your story, though. You you So you got back with him, and then how did you go from there to owning the company? Yeah, so that was kind of without getting into too great a detail that was like a precondition right that if i was going to leave my own company and, and come and work for the guy you know obviously i have immense respect right. um as well as gratitude for this guy um he taught me and a lot number one he allowed me the opportunity to work my way up through the business from a janitor to a milling super right and then running you know out of town recycle and everything else and at that point in time i was like 24 right, right. Mm-hmm. so i'd worked my way up to to running crews at 24 years old, right? That's, yes, it's my doing, but it's also the guy that gave me the opportunity, right? So if somebody like that is going to ask me to come back, it's number one, it's kind of hard to say no, but, right. you know, mm-hmm. uh, there had to be a little precondition there, mm-hmm. right? Which was? Which was, I would, you know, I wanted to be you a big state. player in yeah. the business, is what I said. I think those are the exact words of, of what I used when I had the first conversation with him. I said, I want to be a big player in the business, meaning I want a piece of the pie, mm. right? If I, yes, balls. yes, I got it. I'm the one with the balls. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's uh, I, I had to have it, yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, he needed you as well, right? Yeah, we needed each other. Right. You know, the guy is he's. I don't have brains like that. Mm-hmm. You know, I got the bronze, right? right? I have and the, the youth. I have yeah. I have the ability to make the executive executive decisions. Um. I grew up in business, so I had a, a really, really, really good idea and a lot of background in owning, operating, running a business, uh, building a business. So um, that I can, I mean, crap, I give all that to my mom, you know, ran a restaurant for 30 years by herself. So worked 100 That's hour weeks work. for. That's school right there. Yeah, yeah. Worked 100 hour weeks for 25 years, you know. So I. 100% I got to give everything that I know about working hard just like you kids right, right. Mm-hmm. kids you guys are my age starts at home brother just like your kids is what yeah. I should have said yeah. yeah yeah it starts at home right dad works his ass off what are the yeah. kids gonna do right yeah. they're not gonna sit at home on their ass playing video games yeah. get to work yeah. they're, they're not allowed to yeah. especially, especially we weren't allowed when you to got four boys yeah, yeah. Right? right they're not allowed to yeah. no exactly. they were never it's allowed almost to. like that was on purpose no, right? we had plenty of fun but we made them go to work just to learn work I never yeah. knew that they were going to be here sitting in this office, in this yard, uh, garage today, but I knew they, wherever they went, they were going to know how to, to do their job. Oh, absolutely. Right. Yeah, they have to have that, that the basics, right? Yeah. And that's one of that. Yeah. The, fu- the fundamentals, I guess, right, is hard work. You got to learn it from day one. Right. Shovel, broom. Right. Start with the broom. Everyone starts with the broom. Big axe. The broom <laughs> to success. So is this guy still involved in the company? Yeah. Yeah. So John Nesbitt is involved. I would say... Um, I would like to say retired, right? Um, be- because I think that he just enjoys what he does now, right? Mm-hmm. Thoroughly, right. and so right. yeah. So that's kind of part of the backstory that I that I like to wrap into it too, is to tell people that he's you know he, he wasn't really interested in asphalt work, right? Like that wasn't his primary objective in life when he went to ASU for uh, whatever it was, computer programming or you know something along yeah. those lines, or computer engineering or something, right? Um, I apologize. I can't remember exactly what he what he graduated and what degree with, but uh, wasn't interested in the business necessarily, right? And so, me being the person that I am and having talked to him several times, I I had known that about him, so I knew that when I came back, um, I kind of took advantage, right? I knew that he he had bigger aspirations than just being uh, whatever he was, the president, VP of Nesbit right. Contracting, you know, a paving contractor. He had the ambition that he wanted to, you know, to to take Nescon to the next level. Yeah. Yeah. And how many brooms do you have on the market today? A shitload. <laughs> <laughs> do you know? A lot. Yes, I know exactly. Okay. Yep. Over a thousand. I know exactly. Okay. <laughs> a it's lot. a secret. It's a secret. I'll never tell. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what brought me back into the business. And 
you know, after years of proving mm-hmm. myself, because mm-hmm. it's not, it's just like, just like you with, with you guys, you know, with, with your boys, they, right? They've got to prove themselves and it's not going to be a one year or two year thing, right? It's going to be, they're going to be there for a long time and prove right. themselves day in. We're and day hopefully out. we're building a, a, a brand for our grandchildren, right? So yeah. when are you going to retire? I haven't given that any thought. <laughs> you told us. You said when I don't. What was it? When you? No, he said when when he pulls up on the job, no, no, and not. and we're and it's like, oh no, fuck, Dad's not, here. No, that's not it. It's it's when his when he can't get out of bed the next day. Yeah, oh, right. What was that? Right. So when I come home now, and anyone, when you come home at the end of the day, right, you're hurting. Oh yeah. Right. Your body oh, yeah. hurts. You take a shower. You sit on your couch. Eat your supper. <laughs> play with your kids a few minutes. Yep. You wake up the next morning. You feel good. For the most part. So I still feel good when I wake up the next morning. When I wake up the next morning, if I say, oh, shit, that's when I'll, I'll know that I'm done. But right now, I still wake up. I, I, I got my 12-hour recharge. So that's right. I plug yeah. my phone in, I plug myself in, and I'm good to go. Heck, yeah. That's the way to go. So, uh, Jack, I want to hear Retirement about- sucks. Yeah. Yeah, fact. No, yeah, I think it's weird when people talk about retirement, even kids my age, like, how is that even on your mind at this point, you know? Right. I mean- I never want to retire. I, obviously, I don't want to be breaking my back my whole life. But Well, I think the question then, so we'll transition a little bit, right? But the, tr- the question is, so what's your definition of retirement? I haven't even thought about it. I'd like to play golf twice a week. <laughs> twice a week. I think that you can do that without retiring, though. Yeah. 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 Uh, Dan does that now. <laughs> Mine would be building skyscrapers. Really? That's it? That would be retirement, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, you just project managers go up, make it a little higher, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One then, more floor. Yeah. Right, right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if they can well, hear you it, that far though. It's definitely not watching Prices Right at 10 a.m. No. That does not no, sound fun. No, that's not on nope. my docket either. Nope. Nope. If I'm home on a Saturday, I'm well, luckily I'm we're all too young to be talking about retirement. Right. So right. even me. That's right. right. Absolutely. Yep. Um, but I, w- um, I really want Will to tell the viewing public um, what makes his broom the shit <laughs> it's just better okay no I really we'll see tomorrow right yeah right will you heard right will comes from a milling background so yeah. this this broom is made to pick up millings which a lot of brooms that even we use right on a smaller scale like the, the push boxes those are really not designed to pick up millings right it's more to sweep sand off a parking lot the, the, the kick brooms leaves. those aren't really made to push millings maybe the bigger brooms that we use the the bigger bros brooms or the challenger the lee boy challengers those are made to kick millings but um even the sweeper trucks you see a lot of those pelican street We've sweepers used the, uh elgin sweeper right for like the, the towns town, bring them the town up came right. out and helped us yeah, sweep like and, and yeah yeah and they left mess. they left yeah. half of it on the ground right yeah. it doesn't right. pick shit up yeah nothing well um i won't comment on that <laughs> One thing, I mean, and this is something that I say quite a bit, is that I'm, I'm not going to be the guy that, that you're going to hear bad things from, right? Um, I'm sure that there's – I know that there's other manufacturers that may talk a little smack about us. Yep. That's fine. Yep. I mean, that's part of the game, right? Yeah. We all it comes with the territory. Yeah, there's hate. Exactly yep. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. If you're, if you're doing something right, right? Yeah. that's a that's an yeah. old adage. If right. you're doing something right, somebody's going to talk about it. Right. So whether it's good or bad. Right. So, and that's fine. Um, in my opinion, uh, all of the manufacturers do something right. So that's, that's a good what point. I want to say. Yeah. Right. Well, we again, we were looking for a, a piece of equipment that picked up millings off the road, and that's why we you're sitting that. here. Absolutely. That's why you're sitting here because I do my homework. Yes. I told you I'm an equipment <laughs> yes. junkie. Not only do I know it when I see it. I study it. I read about it. I could tell you how many horsepower is in a 1957 right. so you hear that? Mag Roller. Children? Yes. He doesn't just go on someone's Instagram and sees what everyone else is running and then ask them. He's reading magazines at night. He's watching YouTube videos. He really looks into this. Will, when he gets equipment magazines at the house, my mom calls them, your Playboys are here. <laughs> right. Right? Yeah, That's she what she calls, calls them, Playboy. them Playboys. Nice. Until yeah, I was Playboy 12, I thought those were Playboys. <laughs> Well, I'm so. constantly looking for something. I'm o- I'm constantly <laughs> looking for a piece of equipment, and I don't even care if we use it once a week or once a month. But when we use it, we're looking for something that does it easier, faster, and better. Yeah, it's better, Absolutely. bigger, and stronger, that's, faster. And it doesn't have to be bigger. It it just has to do it more better. efficiently with less manpower. Yep. And um, that's how come that broom is sitting here, and pretty much everything we own right. is designed. Maybe not for 
Bob's contracting, maybe not for Nescon contracting, but for American Pavement, what we do, um, we try to um, buy machinery that's designed for our for for our size company. For what we yeah. do, and for what we do, absolutely. Well, that's yeah. a, I mean, that's uh, productivity and efficiency, right? That's what you need in the business. Yeah, and we. Um, I don't want to have six guys sweeping a road. Right. right. I don't care if I could do it faster. I, I just can't. It's 100 degrees out. I want to see my guys with dirt all over them and, and sitting in this Bryce broom without a window in it. And the guy's covered in yeah. dirt. Freezing. I mean, yeah. and not when there's way. one with an air condition <laughs> we and a power we, window yeah. available. I mean, it looks like a raccoon right. at the end of the day. You know, yeah. I've gone home with yeah. The yeah. blonde yeah. hair from sweeping millings. Stay tuned. We're going to show you that, too. Yeah. Yeah. So transitioning to that, though, I want to hear from Jack how much easier this is going to make his life because he runs a milling crew. He's on a milling job every day. Yeah, and I just want to add that Jack's been asking me every day for three years, <laughs> when we get an next broom dad, when we get an next broom dad, when we get an next broom dad. Is it the same amount of times that I've gotten a text from you? Yeah, when I get send a picture of yeah. the broom. When are we getting yeah. ours? I, said, yeah. I, yeah. I told my dad to buy one. Yeah, come on, let's yeah. do it. Let's do it already. It's well, in, in respect to Jack's an equipment junkie too. I mean, he'll he'll take that manual home and, and read into it, and that's something that I don't do that he does great. Um, but go ahead, Jack. Sometimes. So this is going to make my life a lot easier, hopefully, right? I mean. Absolutely. Yeah. How many times have I been on site now? With me? Four? Five? Yeah. yeah. Four, four or five, five. yeah. Come, I mean, yeah. just dropped in. Yeah. 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 Basically. yeah. Really, last, really what was it, like two? Will just came year. around the corner and just dropped the boom. <laughs> yeah. He's like, where are you? Where are you? I said, I'm on this road over here. And he just dropped the broom and just started sweeping. He's like, I'll be there in a minute. And just turn around. He's sweeping the road for me. So. Yep. Yeah. That's what we do. I like yeah. to just show up. My guys were we were sweeping and he started throwing the chunks out and the guys they're running them over and will and the, and the guys are just like holy shit. Like yeah. they're picking up chunks. Leave it on the Just road. leave we'll it on the ground. We'll pick it up. Yep. And that was sold on that. That was Absolutely. As soon as Get I saw that. Out of the way. Yeah. When he Get said the leave the skids there at home, I said, "Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. Ha the cake room out of the way. Leave the skid home." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Get all yep. your guys off the road. We'll sweep yep. them up too. <laughs> Right, but even like with the pavement crew too in the morning. Um, yeah, I mean he he spends all day milling, right? He he mills for six, seven hours, sweeps for three or four, and then I still have to sweep the next the road the next day, right. and yeah. pick the grass out of it. Like you didn't do that either. Like you, you were spending so much time sweeping, I had to, I had to right. do the, do I that. Know, right. You know, like now it should all be done. Yeah. I should just show up and pave. You're gonna. <laughs> Good. Now you're so gonna. I'm driving on a busy travel road, you're still gonna have to sweep it again. Yeah, yeah at least keep coming Obviously. up. But now the guy's gonna. We could throw a guy in that thing an hour before we get there. Yeah. And it'll be ready. Yeah. 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 Stay in there. Yeah. Right? yeah. Can stay in there. You don't have to. Yeah. Sweep when pile. when have a skid to, to scoop it up. Yeah. When he leaves, he could instead of taking the pickup to the job, he could take that and go go an hour before we do. Go ahead and sweep your brains out. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm taking this thing to a car show Sunday morning. <laughs> <laughs> Cars and coffee. Do it. Yep. Yeah. So I think you asked what what sets us apart, right? That was one of your questions, and yeah. I just said everything, kind of being a you know a little arrogant there. But there's a lot that sets us apart. Number one is the design, right? So it's not just an engineer sitting behind a desk that puts some stuff down on paper that looks good that he thinks is going to work. This is actually tried and true stuff, right? And it keeps on developing every single year, so it gets to the next better level not even every year it's every day we're out in the shop we are the r d process is like hours for us right it's not uh <coughs> excuse me it's not days or weeks or months to r d something it's you know it takes us no time at all so r d right yep. i feel like we run enough equipment and we know the equipment so well do you have guys out in the field that you call like how did you like that like, do you have those people? Yeah, I'm looking at them. Well, I know I'm going to be that. We're yeah, going to be yeah, those people. We're going to be the guinea pig for that. Yeah. But like, sure. yeah, I mean, yeah, in I three months, I'm going to be like, Will, this button needs to go the other way because it's, or this, 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 right. this, and this. You know, like that's, yeah. Well, a lot of what you're going to find is it is very intuitive to the operator because right. that's who we talk to. Correct. Right? So, I mean, I could name it's it's literally every company that owns yeah. an X broom I talk to. Right. right. If it's not me personally, it's Dan. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm thankfully. I'll kind of give him a little shout out here. Um, Dan has done a tremendous job. I mean, to bring him in out of selling porta potties, renting porta potties. That's a shitty business. <laughs> oh no, it was yeah, it was pumps, yeah. but it was porta potties first, right? Porta like that was yeah. your introduction to sales, right? Right. And then pumps, water pumps, fuel pumps, all that good stuff, right? Yeah. And then really just kind of throw him into the fire with this. I mean, the guy is a monster. You know, 
don't tell him I said that. But no, he's he would. I remember in the beginning, he would just sit down and listen to listen to me have conversations with customers, right? So he just retains stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So it, whether it's me, he's helping quiet. Them, huh? but he's quiet but deadly. He's, he's a listener. He's silent but deadly. That's he's right. a listener. Yeah. He hates. <laughs> hates talking on a podcast i can tell you that so do i that's a big thing why we did this i've been on maybe like three four podcasts now and every time i get get done with it i was like first of all that sucked i sound like an idiot (laughs) and then i'm in the shower later i'm like i should have said this should have said this i fucked up when i said that i forgot to say this so that's a big reason why we're doing this i figured you know we could do a more relaxed situation just shoot the shit and uh yeah, we'll see a lot more of these in the future. I don't think that any of us really enjoy doing it. Um, definitely, I, I won't listen to this one. <laughs> I don't, I've never listened to anything we've. Well, I've, I don't know how much. Like, I don't know how much you enjoy doing this, but we do have a strong social media presence, as you know. And whenever I get a product that I I en- enjoy buying operating and doing business with the owner i'm Whoa. glad to do anything Whoa. i can do to plug the company um and that's why i'm sitting here and that's part of the reason why we're doing this um it's not for me right. um we want to promote the x broom as much as we do that means the world uh, to well us, to me well because now we're in now we're partners you and i correct because our, our our suppliers are our partners and um i need we need everything you got brother yep well we'll bring it I, I know you will. I, promise I you know you will. Yep. All night. right, there you go. That's a good spot to end on. That wraps it up. Right. That's episode one. Um, quick plug in. We got the playoff merch coming Friday. These are the new hoodies. Zip up hoodies. First ever time we've done the zip up hoodies. Got the APS logo on the back. Um, yeah. Freebie. There you go. Everything comes out Friday. These are the new crew necks, dry fit crew necks. Uh, this is the biggest drop to date. So um, let's do a promo code. Promo code XBroom. Yeah, XBroom. 20% for those that stuck around and listened to the whole thing. My man. Boom. Thank you, Will. Yeah. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Yeah. Right. yeah. Same thing. We're the same way. Right. So. Yeah. Because the people that know that, that's 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 the difference. Right? Yeah. When you, when you grow around that, right, and that whole concept. That's what we do for our customers. Right. We Right. Yeah, that's all that you want to do is, is pass that on to, to your customers then at right. that point. you got to be at the other end of the phone, period. And then I don't give a shit what the name on the grill is, to be honest with you. Right. As long as I know the guy's name on the other end of the line. Yeah. <laughs> Motherfucker need Bingo. that speed dial. <laughs> right. right. No, it's true. All right, what's going on, guys? This is what I call right here all in, okay? This is the biggest drop to date. I'm not going to lie. I spent dollars on this merch. Okay, This is the biggest drop ever. If you're going to support us, now's the time, okay? Friends and family, if I don't see you every day and you want a shirt, buy it from the store, pay for the shipping. I'm going to ship it right to your door. Don't call me and say, I want a sweatshirt. I'll see you when you're out. And don't ask me when I'm out that you want one because I'm probably going to be too nice and give it to you for free. (laughs) So if you want to support us, if you've never supported us, buy on the website. If you have been supporting us, we appreciate it. Let's go, baby. Playoffs. Come.